nominated. Yeah, he's nominated. Uh, biggest villain. Um, worst husband. He nominated. He nominated. But it's more. I heard the people say he gonna win. That's what the people yeah, said. From what I heard, they said he gonna win. And I said over Joe Judice, over Tom Girardi. Child, not over if y'all let Martell Holt lose worst husband to anybody else, I, it's gonna be quite a few people upset about it. So oh, Michael, vote, vote, vote again. You can vote more than one. Yes, I wonder who's gonna go tell Martell he's nominated for worst husband. I don't know. I hope somebody does. Listen, <laughs> um, here's my thing y'all gonna let him outdo Michael Darby. Y'all really gonna let okay. Y'all really? Y'all really gonna let Martell Holt outdo Michael Darby? It sounds like they is. Child, listen, it's too much. Y'all it's just go vote, baby. Y'all gonna be upset if your fave loses. Mm -hmm. Listen, Tiffany New York Pollard is nominated for something. Mama D, Mama Jones, Lyrica G, the ladies down there to the Love and uh, Marriage. Well, only one person from Love and Marriage DC is nominated. And that's Winter. And she knows. Um, Love and Marriage Huntsville is quite a few people from that cast nominated. Are they not? They're nominated. Um, we got some old back in the day VH1 shows. Some people from the Flavor of Love shows. Uh, I Love New York. Real Chance at Love. Mm -hmm. They're nominated. Um, Real Housewives of Atlanta. Shout out to the Stallionaires. Yes, the Stallionaires are nominated. Um, yeah, House, you said it wrong. The Stallionaires. I listen. She, you say it better than me. Uh, the Real Housewives, <laughs> Real Housewives of Atlanta cast members, past and present, nominated. Real Housewives of Potomac, uh, cast members, present time, nominated. Um, if y'all want to know, it's uh Ronald Reagan and George Bush, aka Robin Dixon, Dixon, and as she claims. And Giselle Bryant, I don't have no other name because I'm still not married, are nominated. Uh, Giselle is for the biggest villain in Tackiest Fashions. And Ronald for, is she up there for uh, the misled and misinformed? I believe, hold on, let me go check and see if she's up there for the misled and misinformed. Because if not, I'm going to be highly upset because she, she... She is. So Robin Dixon Dixon, as she likes to claim, you know, she really re uh, went and remarried that man. She's nominated for two uh, categories as well. The misled and the uh, misinformed and tackiest fashions as well. Now, I don't know how y'all feel, but I feel like y'all can't let nobody else beat them two heifers in the categories that they are in. I feel like Robin, aka Ronald, and I'm just make it clear. I don't care who you are. If I don't like you, you're going to be everything but your name. Especially if you irk my spirit. Can you tag me in? Yes. Tag in. Now, I, I want to be clear about this. When I originally voted, because you know you can vote more than once if you didn't know. Mm -hmm. When I originally voted, I gave my mislead and misinformed award uh, not a vote to... Disney. Not the Contessa Metcalf because oh. ultimately she stay confusing folks, and mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure she confused. Like, don't get me wrong, she confuses, but she's also confused. So she most definitely got my vote because literally from her first season, she didn't th she didn't threw us all over the place between her situation with Miss Renee, um, bodybuilding. Going back to school so she could become the Surgeon General, her and her husband, breaking up one day, making up the next day. You know, contestant took us all around the world and I, 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 right? Now, I she got my now, vote. Baby. She got my vote initially. But now that Robin, Roberto, has pulled the stunt that she has pulled. Oh, baby, I'm about to go vote again. Because, again, you can vote more than once. And I'm about to show her, give her my vote this time. Because this foolishness she pulled on this week, you earned that award, babe. Yep, you sure sounded confused explaining how one wasn't sleeping with this girl but paying for a hotel room. She and paying, taking her hair, and y hair in yonder. Delicious. She sounded confused explaining it. So ain't no way she gonna confuse, be confused and not be confusing. And hey, listen, y'all know how I feel about Ronaldo. 
I might have to come and do my own little one too about the entire situation. If not for the fact I want to get more views. That's the only time the I more she, what'd you say? The yeah. more the more she explains it, or excuse me, the more I hear her okay. explain it the more annoyed I get because Robin was a basketball wife, okay? If them basketball wives don't know nothing else, they know about getting cheated on. Mm -hmm. And we all know about the penis of the legendary Jamal Bryant and how and how, look, how much he loves to spread his seed. Mm -hmm. Between the two of them dodo heads, ain't no way in the world you gonna tell me Robin don't know one select with this woman. Both of y'all have been cheated on too many times for you not to know no better. Robin is the same woman who was on Lipstick Alley making colorist uh, posts, uh, colorist comments and posts about Gabrielle Union when she was sleeping with Juan Dixon. I'm just saying, I know for a fact you know better. You've been in the game long enough. You've been with Juan since high school. He probably was spreading himself thin in high school. We know how them athletes, them high school athletes get down, baby. They be the big dog on campus. Everybody be wanting a piece of them high school athletes. All the girls. And then, you know, roll with him through college and him making it into the NFL. You better believe she know when one is cheating on her. Now, why you chose to stay with him, if y'all really are together, because you know my theory. You know, I don't think they're together in real life. You know, um, theory too. You know that is your that is your business. If she chooses to stay with him, she obviously a fool, but she if she chooses to stay with him despite the fact that he's a whoremonger, that's her business. My issue is you sat here and you lied on the show. Again, not that much of a stretch because we know how your good girl gizzle neck gets down. We know y'all like to lie in front on camera, but you're going to come after filming his rap for everything and then tell the people who like you and listen to that Tide podcast. They need to pay on Patreon for the full story, only for you to go and continue to lie some more? Absolutely not. And you know It's what? a chop. It's a chop, and she needs to be demoted. And you know what? I just realized I can go ahead and download this live and re-upload this portion. Because you know what? I don't feel like having to come back and dedicate something directly to her. So I'm going to say it now. Ronald Reagan, Ronaldo Dixon, you know I don't like you. Okay, I don't. You in that 59% Caucasian, your caucasity is astounding to me. Okay. That was very white woman of her. It's that a really very, was. very palm colored woman. Let me make that me call, that caucus came up. That jumped right up out of her when she pulled this little stunt. Let me let you like let me let me learn you something. You cannot do what you did and expect to keep your job. Okay. And even if they let you keep your job down there to the Bravo, you're going to get demoted to a friend of the show if they do what they're supposed to do. Because this happened before the season started filming, which meant this should have been your storyline, which meant you would have been sitting next to Andy because you had the most drama and Andy wouldn't have jumped on you, not physically, but wouldn't have jumped on you verbally when it came to you not showing away, not getting married, not nothing else, right? Right or wrong? Because I feel like if you found out that this man was out here cheating, or you say it's not cheating, but it's just like the more we listen to you, the more it's just like you think we stupid. You think we gonna believe this? We don't believe this. He cheated. I don't even believe he cheated because y'all don't even make it like look like y'all together. It looked like he show up to the house and film with you, and then when it's filming is over at your uh, place where you live. He leave and go to wherever else he lives with the person he wants to actually be with. But, okay, you say he cheated. And y'all worked through it. And that when it came to the girl in the hotel, he got her a hotel room on his credit card because she didn't have no money. But he didn't stay. Lies and deceit. Lies and deceit. Lies and deceit. Because that lady had all the information. She had all the information. She And she put it out there. Um, If you do return for another season. It's not like the people is going to let up on you. Um, And if you was trying to. You know. Keep from having to talk about a certain situation. That he got going on down to that school. um, Because you know. They not going to hop on him. They going to hop on you for sitting up here and lie. 
like lying the way you did and then trying to make it seem like certain people was crazy and lying and trying to play it off like oh because Karen is an older woman because y'all love to talk about that lady age but really your bestie for resties is only what five years younger than Karen I say a good five years younger. I really don't want to say a good five years younger because she looked older than Karen. How does Karen look older? Like, how does Karen look younger than you? But your bestie Serestis is only five years younger uh, than Karen. And you wanted to make Karen seem like she was crazy. And then y'all sitting up here lying. So really the truth ain't in you to tell it. Use Because you lie. You're a lie. The truth ain't in you. Y'all sat at that table when Karen dropped all that information and said, that's not true. That's not true. It never happened. And, you know, why would I want to hug you? You admitted that he did all these things, but then tried to play it off like Karen was crazy. And Karen is always thinking about wine and that is not the case. Then when she said something about the blonde lady down in Georgetown, y'all want everybody to say, that's a lie. It never happened. No, it happened. I believe it happened. Do you know why I want to? Like, I believe it happened. Hey, just simply, hey, um, you know why I know and believe it happened? Because of the way you called him and the way that he reacted. Now, see, if it wasn't a lie, he wouldn't have got up in arms and, you know, was jumping down your throat and screaming, and hollering, cussing and fussing, talking about he going to cuss one of them women out. Talking about he's never uh, been with anybody. He don't go out nowhere. Um. First, he said he don't go out nowhere. Then he said D.C. And it's just like, ooh. Yeah. You're doing stuff. You're for definitely doing something. A person who is not doing anything and you call them to try to ask them or check them about a situation, they're not about to get like he got, which was belligerent. And you sitting up here snicker, snickering and uh, smirking, trying to play it off like, oh yeah, um, nothing happened. But really, you was calling. If you if you say you didn't know until uh, filming began, or you didn't know about this, you was calling to confirm your suspicions. You're pathetic. Your besties for resties is pathetic, but they're not going to get at her, so they're going to get at you. And ultimately, I believe, because I don't like to stop nobody's bag, but then again, you don't do anything. Like, y'all are lazy when it comes to the show. Hello, hello. And then they fancy, them, fancy themselves producers, too. That's the part that really gets yeah, me. Yeah, that's another thing. Y'all set up here and did the jobs of the producers. That's going to get y'all all the way cu caught up. Because y'all are not producers. Y'all didn't go to school for this. Y'all don't have a job in this. Y'all are trying to produce everybody's storylines because you don't want your stuff to come out. But however, in the real world, what's done in the dark comes to the light. And obviously oh, and it came to the light via Karen. But y'all tried to play it off like Karen was stupid. Karen was crazy, and now y'all still making stuff up, talking about, oh, Karen did this, and Karen did that. We don't believe it, because we knew from the very beginning, when y'all brought Chauncey, a.k.a. Sharice, a.k.a. Repossession and Pain Room, a.k.a. the best Waffle House worker of the year, to this show, it was to get at Karen, and to get her specifically, because y'all couldn't go at her because of what she knew that y'all didn't want her to say. But when Karen wised up and realized the optics of the situation, she went and hit you with that one-two combo and knocked your ass out the ring. Now, Karen, stop with the respectability politics. These heifers don't mean you no good. They don't like you. They don't want you to be great. And they're very jealous of you. They're envious. But you tried to play in our faces. And we caught you. We pulled your card I mean, at every turn. Can I jump in right quick? Real, right here really quick. Yep. I don't even think it's just jealousy. I think when it comes down to it, they don't respect Karen. They don't respect Candace, mm -hmm. despite what they claim. They don't respect you because they will make a mockery out of your lives and your marriages, the things that you hold near and dear to protect themselves. And obviously, Giselle respects Robin because she went through such lengths. Same with Ashley. She went to such lengths. To, to cover up for Robin because she respects her. And despite that fraudulent relationship with Juan, she went above and beyond to make sure that Juan and uh, Robin were going to be good. However, 
Candace, who you claim is a friend, who you claim you look at as a little sister, her marriage is okay for you to throw to the wayside. Her marriage is okay Mm -hmm. for you to play. What if she was the type to be reactive and then just kick that man out or was ready to file for divorce over the fact that my friend is saying you tried to get with her? Yep. Then what you would have done? Oh, I didn't mean it like that. I didn't mean it like that. Oh, my God. Um, I don't think you should leave him. I'm just saying like, like, like what? What if she was the type to be like, no, that's a too big of a boundary that you crossed. You tried to sleep with my friend. I don't want to be with you no more. Mm-hmm. What if what if Candace was on that type of two? Then what would you have done? You would. He was willing to destroy that woman's marriage. Who you again? These are people. This is somebody who they claim they look at as mm-hmm. a little sister. Y'all don't like these people. Y'all don't love these people. Y'all are only. Well, y'all don't people. respect them. Real talk. Yes. It's obvious who. It's obvious in this cast who gets your respect. It's obvious. Look at how much care and concern they have for Ashley and her sham of a marriage as well. They have so much care and concern for that old man, but everybody else's husband, I can come after you whenever I feel like it. I can play with you and your your family like y'all are a toy. Mm-hmm. Hold on. It's all one big joke. And this whole thing of them covering up for Rodman happened long before season seven. They've been doing this since season mm-hmm. six. They have. That's why Robin was so sensitive to Wendy's comment. Production has allowed the OGs to skate by for many seasons, and they have, and they have. But now they are trying to do they, uh, they are sitting up here trying to do production's jobs. And do y'all know how production does not like you trying to do their job? They really don't, because this is their job. This is what they get paid for. They don't like y'all trying to do their jobs. Well, thank you, Cole. I appreciate it. I was going to say, Cole, we, I was going to tell you to respond to Cole. Hey, Cole. Hey, Cole. Uh, I appreciate it. Listen, game night tonight, so come on. Come on through. Roberto needs to be reprimanded. If not fired, she needs to become a friend of the show. And even then. I, 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 there should be some type of accountability for her actions. Uh-huh. You stay here and you withheld information on a show you get paid for. And you barely show up for work. All these seasons, you have barely showed up for work. This is the hardest you've worked since season one. And mm-hmm. and you're going to withhold information, gaslight this entire cast, and then have the nerve to tell people if they want to hear the full story, which, again, still not the full story because you're playing in people's faces. They got to pay you? Pay just Absolutely simply. not. They got to pay you on your people. whack Patreon for that whack podcast. Absolutely not. Ain't nobody paying you. Um, Have you ever played words on stream? No, but if you put it in the community tab, I will go check it out and see if we'll be able to do that. Game nights are very community driven now. Um, Just simply. Oh, and while lunch lady wants to bring up what Karen has has done, uh, let's discuss how lunch lady. Oh, now see, just simply. Right, and let's also talk about how Applehead Gremlin husband has been inappropriate on multiple occasions, but yet he is protected. Oh yes, that there is a big problem, but they're not gonna say nothing. They they're like your respect, Ashley. All those other women didn't like you, which is why y'all know I'm seeing Candace. Y'all know that's my girl. I'm not cut you off. I'm sorry. I'm trying to hear you because I'm about okay. to eat my. Life. But y'all know I'm seeing Candace. Candace is my girl. I root for Candace. I think she's very talented. I think she's also. Smart to an extent. I'm putting an extent on it because there are some decisions that she makes that I do not like. I don't like the fact that she's friends with Sharice. Sharice shows you on Mad Day how she gets down, and that's such a vile, nasty, terrible wig wearing, Dijonay wannabe. <laughs> you know what? Um, I ain't even gonna go hey, there. California, but I, I just, thank you for coming in and telling people. Hey, sorry, California, I'm gonna you. cutie. Um, now, now yes, cutie, I, I know you might be um, sorry. Kitty, I know you might be busy tonight, uh, braiding hair, but come on through for game night, okay? Come see the, um, listen, come see the showdown that's about to happen between Too Feisty and Shalika's husband. Uh, and Kay- Oh, Katie said all, I remember she was in them Twitter spaces. Ciao. Like, when it comes to Candace... Sharice is not the type of person you befriend. She definitely the type of person that you let into your space and tell your business because on Mad Day, Sharice is nasty. She's such a gutter snipe on Mad Day, and I can't get with people who get down like her. There's too many women on this show, but you got mad at them. You crossed, you crossed Karen, you mm-hmm. crossed Giselle, you crossed Al. Not no, not Ashley. She she got um Monique, 
anytime, like, these are women you be hanging so thick with, but as soon as you get mad at them, you want to air them out and air out all they, like, they deepest secrets. I can, And then you will set them up. You apply and plan. Let's not forget what she did to Giselle when it came to Sherman. And she mm-hmm. was sliding and planning no Monique. I, yep. I can't get down with somebody like that. And I'm saying, Candace, she ain't got you yet, but the day she gets mad at you, she's going to show you how she really get down. I don't like the fact that Candace continues to say, I love Cherise, okay? Um, but Cherise will love you. Like she will do anything she to get looking back on at Robin and, and these girls, like, stop letting them bully you bully you into being friends with Ashley and stop stop thinking these girls are your friends. This is not a sisterhood. This show, mm-hmm. these women on this show, is not a sisterhood. The girls who really support each other, you see it. It is clear as day. So, despite the fact that I really do enjoy Candace, I'm saying she needs to wake up. And this needs to be the wake up call. Those people are really going to air you and your husband out and just flat out lie, mm-hmm. not even embellish or exaggerate. They literally created things up out of thin air. Ashley said that this man came at her and all of her friends at mm-hmm. the bar. Him sliding into her DMs like he was trying to get with forehead and gooseneck sitting here saying like I know he was trying to be a sneaky link. Nobody wanted you like because many of many men, men have tried. Her. I don't care what you say. It's time for y'all to wake up. Well, I'm saying this to Candace, not you. You smart. Um, I'm saying when it comes down to Candace, well, I don't know. I need you to wake up. Robin knew. Robin knows. Robin approves. Despite what she says, they had more this season with a whole good cop, bad cop vibe. They mm-hmm. knew and they, they all said it was all one big plan. That's why it never made sense. Who is Deborah? Who is Deborah? Why is she even at the function looking like she looked? And why all of a sudden she's strategically placing herself like it's an episode of cheaters with the with mm-hmm. the decoy to get the man to cheat so they can catch it on camera. Chris wasn't even looking at you. She they did place herself at that point. I need her to wake up and understand them girls is not your friend. The one friend you got on that show is Wendy. And I'm going to need Wendy and Candace to actually stick together. Either both of us are coming to the event or neither one of us coming to the event. And God knows y'all can't have that show without Candace. I'm going to call it what it is. You can't have that show without Candace. Shout out to Netflix because they know. And mm-hmm. Karen, even though I think she don't like Wendy and she low keys colorist. You say for riding with Candace and Wendy, you never gonna get in with the GEVs. And Karen, you kissing Candace's feet, you threatened to go to HR on her. You should have went about Giselle. And Karen, I see, I like you, Karen, but um, your respectability politics is gonna get you every time. It when really the is. season first started, can't uh, Karen. Giselle, Robin, and Ashley sitting here having that picnic and stuff. And it was always oh, cute to see the OGs, the original four. Karen, them girls don't see it for you like that. And every chance they get, remember how Ashley told uh, uh, Sharice, I'm glad you stuck up for yourself after her and Karen got into it. Yo, Karen, wake up. But see, that's what you get, though, because Wendy isn't a good fit for the show, remember? First of all, talking about I'm glad you stuck up for yourself, for what? She keeps starting it. You glad she stuck up for herself for what? Because she keeps starting stuff? Wouldn't no, wouldn't, Sharice wouldn't be on this show. Sure, they wouldn't have gotten into a back and forth if Sharice wasn't starting stuff with that lady. Constantly talking about, I don't know why we went wrong and I never did anything to you. You did. Sharice's so pathetic. Because she wants so badly to be on this show. For what? You give nothing and nobody's interested in you. And the people are calling for you to not be back on the show. I'm Josh, one of those, I am one of those people. You know her name is Chauncey over here. In case you didn't know, Sharice is also nominated for the Why Are You Here Award. Yes. The question we all ask every week when we see her looking like a, a hired Waffle House worker that just got off of work and had to ride the bus to film. No, she had to walk to film. Because, you know, that's not a far walk from Bethesda. <laughs> I don't think because y'all know she lives in Bethesda and if anybody's like how did we get here um even after I cut it up because I'm gonna cut like I'm gonna leave this live but I'm gonna download it I'm gonna cut it up and then I'm gonna uh, premiere the six brown chicks episode five and then I'm also gonna premiere you know us talking about this whole situation if y'all wonder how we got here because we was talking about the awards honey we was talking about the awards yes please 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 go again go vote uh-huh go, go, hold go on vote. let me drop the like again 
you can vote more than once. And <laughs> if you really that girl or that guy, mm -hmm. go tell your fave that you voted for them. I'm sorry, but if you voted for Kenya as the Queen of Reeves, she needs to know she's nominated for the Queen of Reeves and that you voted for her. Yes, because I got it on good authority that um, Candace is in the lead. She needs to know that. If you voted for Candy for the LLC award for her ability to promote and launch successful businesses on reality television, Candy needs to know she's nominated. She also needs to know you voted for her. I'm pretty sure Candy would want to vote for herself. Candy's very competitive. <laughs> As quiet as it's kept the loudest, I'm going to say it. I also got a good authority that she's not even in the lead in that award. I y'all be mad because I, I voted for Dr. Heavily. Um, I, I was trying to vote for the underdogs in each category. Uh -huh. And I voted for Dr. Heavily. And when I told Dr. Heavily she was nominated on Twitter, she was very thankful. She was like, wow, I didn't know. But wow, thank you. You probably should go tell your babe. The drunken talk gets on my nerves. Punk ass Chauncey. Yes. Um. Sharice is uh, nominated for the Why Are You Here Award. On my channel, she is going to win the Bad Wig Award. But for the award show, she is nominated for the Why Are You Here Award. And I'm sick of her drunk talk, too. She always drunk. Or gives off the appearance as drunk. I don't know if she just talks slow like she does all the time. But, girl. And she always squinting. I don't need her to go get some glasses. Or get some contacts. Cause she really do be squinting like she can't see. So it's like, okay, girl, you, 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 it's, you at the age when you need glasses, them eyes ain't focusing like they used to. And the thing, like, honestly, the last thing that they and forgot the that they hold on to and don't want to mention is the fact that they brought uh, Chauncey on the show specifically to get at Karen to keep the energy off of them. Like y'all went at Candace and her husband, y'all iced Wendy out and y'all went at Karen by way of Chauncey because y'all felt like that's the person that was going to get her, uh, that was going to pull her card. But it's just like nobody cares. Hmm. Everybody, Legitimate. when they tried to come after, they, they might have finally gotten a reaction out of uh, out of Karen. But um, uh -huh. when, it come, when it come down to it, y'all might have, she might not have gotten vindication on, during filming. But Karen is definitely vindicated. Oh, yeah. And with that being said, go vote, 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 vote. Oh, she's also nominated for Flop Read Award. She is. She absolutely is. Oh, we all well, know it. Thank you so much for reminding us. We all know it's a flop. Please don't let Sharice lose that category. If any, for the why are you here? Please don't let her lose that one. Yeah, if anything, let the people know on Twitter. Listen, I got to get with the chef so I can get that and I can throw it up there. Uh, Because you know what? We're going to get the votes off of that one right there. Chauncey being nominated for the Why Are You Here Award. Please don't let me down, y'all. Please. And with that being said, we're going to end it right here because I got to go finish this Kahoot and do a few more things. Listen, it's the Rugrats one. The Pootie Tang one is already completed. It's just the Rugrats. And I just... Which like, I'm I'm glad because the people love to say I always say I'm going to win. I'm, you are my witness. I'm saying this in front of all my cousins in the chat. I'm not winning. I'm not going to try to win the Rugrats one. I have not watched Rugrats since I was in elementary school. Okay? I'm going to play because I like to play. But I'm not going to win it. So when people specifically prop up the <laughs> says, well, you said you was going to win. No, I did not. Y'all are my witness. Now that Pootie Tang one, I don't know if I'm going to win because I feel like my cousin-in-law, Shalika's husband, uh -huh. he going to give me some good, good competition. I'm about to go study. But guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to try my best. <laughs> <laughs> and with that being said, y'all come back tonight for uh, Pootie Tang and the Rugrats uh, Trivia on Kahoot, I'm not sure which one I'm doing first. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it like the TV show, then movie, or if I'm going to do movie, then TV show. Y'all just got to figure out what it's going to be. And then be looking out for some stuff that I got dropping because that, um, before tonight is over, and I mean like before we move from the first to the second. That first episode of the Many Wives of Soap Opera, uh, uh, Many Wives of Soap Opera characters will be dropping today. Okay, okay. cool, cool, cool. So, All right, guys, I'm gonna try. Bye, yes. cousins. See ya.
Hey, Chef John John. Hey, Chef. John. Listen, I'm playing. Hey, Chef. Hey. So, with that being said, um, I'm going to run this promo video one more time. Hold on. Drop the link in the chat. Yes, I will. Yes, I will. Go vote, 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 vote. And I'm going to play the promo one more time. Let me drop the banner. Boom. Mark your calendar for a night to remember. Best Reality TV Star 2K23 Award Show. February the 27th, 2023. Make sure you connect with us at BSTV 2K23 Awards so that you know when voting is available. Let's get it and let's go. Did y'all like Chef's uh, boy six voice? I know he's giving y'all sexy voice. Now the link in the chat is there for voting. So go vote. You can vote more than once. And y'all know me and Too Fierce, Siesta Fiesta, we talked about this. Y'all cannot and will not let chauncey lose the why are you here award and chef i'm gonna ask you in the uh you know the board of directors chat uh if i could go ahead i'm gonna ask you now if you could go ahead and make that um make that uh nomination uh if you haven't already for her so i can go ahead and drop that on twitter so i can let the people know because you know the people don't like her for real for real and with that being said if you're new here and you like the content like comment subscribe turn your post notifications on and share me with your people if you're not new here and you don't like the content still like comment subscribe turn your post notifications on and share me with your people because you may not like me but somebody out there does if you want to follow me on social media you want to buy my merch you want to buy my lip gloss you want to uh, contact me for business you want to get me something off the amazon wish list because you know uh you want to see exactly where your uh coins is going then you can get me something off of there everything that's on the amazon wish list is for the channel um and it's going to help me like do better and be able to navigate a few things uh more um and you know if you want to make a monetary donation to the channel just know kahoot cost me 12 dollars a month so if y'all want to donate $12 to help pay for Kahoot, that is much appreciated because y'all know I don't actually choose what happens for game night. Game night is community driven. It is all about what y'all want to see. And I put it in a wheel and I, the wheel gets spun uh, on Spin the Wheel Friday. Spin the Wheel Fridays will return next week. Next week. So we can see what the next three game nights will be again. So it's community driven. So you know, y'all have a good time. And with that being said, that was it. That was all. I don't have no more to give y'all when it comes to this. I will be, uh, you know, re-uploading um, this, except it'll be broken up because, you know, I did talk about the, um, what is it? I did talk about uh, Robin and the wand drama. So I'm going to, you know, re-upload it. But with this part. And then I'm going to upload uh, six brown chicks again. And with that being said. I love everybody. And I'll see y'all later. Bye. Mark your calendar for a night to remember. Best Reality Star 2K23 Award Show. February the 27th, 2023. 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. 7.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. Head over to bstv2k23awards.com to cast your vote. Voting is available from now until February the 6th of 2023. We have some amazing reality stars on the ballot. So swing for your faith. And remember, we'll see you on February the 27th of 2023. Let's get it and let's go. Thank mm-hmm. you.